Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we had designed this using HTML and CSS. And in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your Blogger website. So here in our Blogger website, right now we have these uh, post titles over here. Now we're going to add this design to our Blogger website. So all these titles will be replaced by the titles of the Blogger posts. So let's get started. <laughs> Now let's open the theme code of our blogger website. So let's go to the dashboard and let's click on theme and let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. Now we had added this code after the header. So let's search for the end of the header tag. So just search for less than forward slash header. And after this header, we can see that this is our code. So we have this styling and uh, this is the code to display our post. So what we will do is I'll just keep this code as it is and we'll make changes in this uh, function right here. So right now in this function, we are looping through all the posts and we are just displaying the post title as an S3. Now, if you go to the design here, we can see we have the thumbnail, we have the title, we have a summary of the post and we also have this read more button. And we also need to get the link of the post so that when we click on this image or this title, we need to go to that post. So we need to get all this information from the blogger website. So if we go back to the theme code and if we scroll down, here we can see this is the script that we are using to get the data. Now if we go back to our website and uh, if I just type here forward slash feed forward slash default and uh, if I press enter and if we scroll down and if we open entry, here we can see all these posts are displayed over here. Now here we can see we have the title inside the title object and if you scroll down here we have the content of the blog post and then we have the link and all those things over here but we don't have the summary of the post we have the complete content of the post now we don't need to get this complete post to display in our design over here we just need to get the summary so for that what you can do is instead of default you can just type summary and if i press enter and now if you scroll down and if you open entry and if you scroll down here we can see that instead of the content we have the summary displayed over here so let's go back to the theme code and here instead of default i'll just change this to summary right now let's write the code to extract all the data and uh, create the markup so if you go back to the source code and uh, here we can see that the first thing we need to have is uh, the link of the post and in the anchor tag, we have the IMG tag and in that we need to get the thumbnail of the post. And then we need to create this division with the class of text content. And in that we need to have an anchor tag with the link of the post and we need to have an S3. And then we need to have the summary. And then we need to have the read more button with the link of the post. And we need to add all of this inside this division with the class of label post. So we need to dynamically generate all this content using JavaScript. So let's go back and do that. So I'll just remove all this content from here and uh, let's start from scratch. So the first thing we will do is we will create this anchor tag for the thumbnail. So let's create a constant and uh, let's name it thumb container and we'll set it equal to document dot create element and we need to create an anchor tag. So let's tap a and then for this thumb container, we need to have the href. So let's tap thumb container dot href equals and for the href we need to have the link of the post. So let's go back to our JSON data and uh, let's see where is the link. Here we can see we have this link array and if you scroll down the last object of the array has this uh, href and in that we have the link of the post. So for that let's go back to our code. Now in this function we are getting all the posts in this data and here from the data we are looping through each of the posts now for each of the single posts I'm just calling it post so here we need to type post dot link and we need to get the last item so here we need to type post dot link dot length so this will give us the length of the array minus one so this will give us the index of the last item because the array starts from zero we need to type minus one over here and then we need to type dot href because here we can see the link is inside href 
So this will give us the link of the post and uh, we will store it inside this thumbnail container href. Now we also need to add a class to this anchor tag. We need to add a class of thumb container. So let's type thumb container dot class list dot add and let's type thumb container. Right now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to create this img tag. So let's type const and we just call it thumbnail and let's type document dot create element img. Now for this thumbnail we need to set the source to the thumbnail of the post. So let's type thumbnail dot src equals and if you go back to the data and uh, let's see where is the thumbnail. So here we can see for the thumbnail we have this media dollar symbol thumbnail and in that we have the URL. So let's go back and uh, let's type post dot media dollar symbol thumbnail dot URL. Now if you go ahead and open this thumbnail, so I'll just open this in a new tab. This is how the thumbnail looks right now. Now the size of the thumbnail is too low. So if we go and take a look at this link. Here we can see we have this forward slash s72. So this is basically the resolution of the thumbnail. Now if we just change this to something bigger. So if I just type s300 and if I press enter. Now we can see we have a bigger thumbnail. So what we need to do is we need to replace forward slash s72 with a different number. So let's go back and here let's type dot replace. And here let's type forward slash s72. And we need to replace it with forward slash s300. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add this thumbnail inside this thumb container. Because here we can see the img tag is inside the anchor tag. So for that you need to type thumb container dot append child. And we need to add thumbnail over here. Right now the next thing we need to have is this uh, anchor tag. Before that let's create this division with a class of text content. So let's type const text content equals document dot create element and here let's type div and we need to give it a class of text content. So let's type text content dot class list dot add text content. Right now we need to create this anchor tag for this post title container. So we can just copy this from here and let's paste it over here and I'll just change the name to post title container and uh, I'll just copy it and paste it over here and here and here for the class we need to change this to post title container so let's tap post title container right now we need to create the title so for the title we need to have an s3 so let's tap const title equals document dot create element and let's create an s3 and for the post title we need to have this class of post title so let's type title dot class list dot add post title and uh, inside the title we need to add the title of the post so let's type title dot inner html equals and let's go back to the JSON data and let's see how the title is interpreted. So here we can see for the title we have this title and in that we have dollar symbol T. So let's type post dot title dot dollar symbol T. Right now we need to add this title inside this post title container. So here we can see the S3 is inside the anchor tag. So let's type post title container dot append child and here let's type title right now let's go back and the next thing we need to have is the summary so let's type const summary equals document and this is a div so let's type create element div and we need to have a class of summary so let's type summary dot class list dot add summary and inside the summary we need to add the actual summary of the post. So let's type summary dot inner html equals. Let's go back to the data and uh, here we can see for the summary we have the summary and in that we have dollar symbol t. 
So let's type post dot summary dot dollar symbol t. Now the next thing we need to do is create this uh, read more button. So let's type const read more btn equals document dot create element and it is an anchor tag. And we need to give it a class of read more btn. So let's type read more btn dot class list dot add read more btn. And here in this href we need to add the link of the post. So I'll just copy this line of code from here and let's paste it over here. And here instead of post title container, I'll just type read more btn. Now in this anchor tag we need to have this text read more. So let's type read more btn dot inner html equals read more now the next thing we need to do is we need to add this post title container the summary and the read more button inside this text content division so we have already created this division over here called text content so let's type text content dot append child and here let's type post title container and text content dot append child and let's type summary and text content dot append child and let's type read more btn now we need to add all of this inside this division with the class of label post so let's see whether we have created the division and we haven't created the division label post so let's create it over here let's type const label post equals document dot create element div and let's give it a class of label post dot class list dot add label post and in this we need to add the thumb container and the text content so here we can see we have the thumb container and then we have the text content so let's type label post dot append child thumb container label post dot append child and uh, text content and now we need to add all of this inside this uh, label post container so if you scroll up here we can see we are already referencing this label post container so let's type label posts container dot append child and let's type label post right now let's go ahead and add the styling so here we already have this styling i'll just delete this and let's go back and let's go to the style.css file and let's copy all the styling from this line of code till the end and let's paste it over here and now let's see whether this works so let's click on save and let's go to our website and let's go to the home page and here we can see that the posts are being displayed Let's open one of these posts. So let's click on this thumbnail. And uh, we are taken to that post right here. Now we need to display this only on the home page. So let's go ahead and add an if condition. So here I just type less than b colon if c o n d. And for the condition, let's type data colon blog dot url equals data colon blog dot home page url. And let's close the if condition right here right now if you save this and if you go back to our website and if I refresh this page here we can see on the home page we have the three posts displayed and if you open any other post here we don't have the post displayed so the if condition is working all right now let's add some styling to this to make it look better. So what we will do is we will add a background color and we'll also bring all this content to the center. So let's go back and let's go to the CSS. Now here for the label post container, let's type background and let's set it to white and let's also add a padding and let's set the padding to 24 pixels and we'll also add a margin and let's set the margin to 32 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right. Right now let's save this. 
and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and this is how it looks let's also bring this to the center so let's type align items to the center and we'll also change the height of the image a little bit so let's go to inspector and uh, and here for the img tag let's change the height a little bit so i think 200 looks all right so let's go back to the code and let's go to the css of the image and here for the height let's change this to 200 and let's save this now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see everything looks all right let's click on the read more button and uh, it is working all right now let's go ahead and change the label and let's see whether it is working so right now the label is ai so let's go back to the code and let's scroll down first of all let's go back to the list of posts and let's see what are the labels available so here we have other labels like tips technology and so on so let's select tips so this should display these three posts we need to have how to make your life easy with chat gpt how search engine works and uh, what is on my office desk right now we have different posts so let's go back and uh, here let's type tips and let's scroll up and uh, here also i'll just change this to tips and uh, let's click on save and now let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page and now we can see we have different posts we have the post related to tips so that's basically how you can display the posts of a specific label in your blogger website let's also check whether it is responsive and here we can see it is completely responsive right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day